So uh, I get that like, full hundred. I haven't used this one since I got it. I'm adjusted this. It was loose, making the holes. Kobe tip. There's a quarter inch, so it's thick. It won't work with titanium. Got a market positive right area. Okay, stick. Can't see it too, so I gotta mark those. Positive stick, positive and negative stick this way. And then right here is like the wire and shit from here in the bottom. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna do these videos because all the videos in YouTube is just people turning it on and for some reason it's really this machine is really quiet. The same thing with the Sam 650 that I have it. There's not a lot of information out there. We're gonna adjust the batteries, this control, uh, and there's wires. So this is the first video. Lo vamos a poner en YouTube. Yes, sir. So I did it. I was thinking about cutting it short, but instead I just fixed it in the inside to make sure the cables don't um, have any short. Make two holes or five sixteenths each side. Put red glue since this thing might be vibrating while it's being towed. Make two holes or three eighths. Bottom and back just to put the tie wrap. Marked it. Negative and negative. The bottom is C constantly. And variable is what we're looking for. That's um, stick. Stick. And this one has this more clarified. The amps did this as well. Digging arc up to seven, three and a half. And then normal weld, special weld. So it doesn't have much. I'm gonna do the batteries and then I'm gonna show you around once we turn it on. Sam 400. So this battery is too big. It doesn't fit with the bracket sideways. There's a um, 950 cold crank, 31 MD with 117 AH amps hours so it's good it works well i'm gonna change the ends i have them i'm gonna do it right now but the best way is cut it and get it like a tab and rewire um put a hole there repurpose the holes with that and then i guess put rubber for friction doesn't damage the battery but that's it battery's big shits are short and they don't they don't work good man this is good stuff. We'll see. We'll test it out. Once I plug it in, we'll test the turn on. See what it works. El 400. Just in case you're wondering how to cut it, you make a whole circle and then what? And then uh, it's like a T. That's how you open it. Still not finished. Then it's the other side. And here's the part number. It's a 3-8 hole. That's the bolt. 3-8. The cable is a two A A W A G. That's the two. I'm gonna post it in, it in um, the description. The side. All right. I'm gonna get started before I turn it on. I, I gotta inspect what kind of cooling does it has. The diesel amount. I'm definitely interested in putting a few things because this thing is an engine, regardless. So one of the gauges that I need it will be the amps of the battery. See if the battery is good or not. A few other things that I got in mind. But for now, I just want to get it turned on. It looks like whoever owned this machine put water instead of cooling. Well, let's do I don't know. This thing is loose. Let's see. Because friction could mess it up. For now, we'll see. machine had a thing is it's out of place well I gotta record I need two hands let's check it out since there was water already I'm gonna put concentrated how did this this is for like light trucks the other one had green so I had to lift it up the bracket is too low all right I'm gonna do a turn on test after this so we're gonna do the first test. I already checked the oil. It's a Perkin um Perkin engine. Not too sure about these machines. I just bought them out of chance. Finding out the anything that has to do with pipe fitting, it has to be a SAM or SEA, I believe. 
machine. All right, so I need this here just in case I need it. Here we go. Idle. Oh, I haven't checked the fuel. The fuel. Hold on. I don't even know. Just want to make sure because I want to test it, but I, I know it doesn't. I should have put like 10 gallons. Yeah, this is a little bit. This is a big tank. I'll say there's like five. I mean, three or four gallons is up to here. I need to add a gauge. All right, here we go. That's the whole reason I want to add gauges because it's like you're kind of guessing a little bit. Move it. Let's give it a shot. Dang it, good. It's hot. It doesn't have the reset button. The other one does. Let's put it up a little 
little bit. I know it's gonna be a bit too hot. Let me put it down here for a second. I'm gonna put it up. So each machine is different, you know what I mean? And like you waste more time trying to figure it out how hot it is, so I gotta put this in on record. So both of them are six and seven, and then this one they come out nice. Six, uh, six and eight. The five and eight didn't work out that good. So six, six and eight and six and seven is the right one. So whenever I'm actually doing some shit, I don't have to go back and forth. So I'm gonna put that down in one of the... So here's what I mean. So the S is 85 because it's a quarter inch plate. And then this is 7, the amp or 8. It doesn't work on plastic, there's not too much electricity. And then it's just much nice, there's not much splatter. So we're gonna keep it that way. Put that on record. Get it. So there you go, that's the machine. Put this video on YouTube. I'm gonna test the 5P quarter uh, inch. That's a 5P, right? Yep. And then uh, I put that on record so whenever I have to weld, I don't have to go back and forth. See how hot is it? So 6 and 7, 6 and 8, digging hard. First weld. We, I want to like it. It works good because I'm using it. But I think the alternator is not charging the battery. Something I gotta, gotta take a look at it. I gotta read the book. I noticed this too, so I don't know if it's current. It's this one. And current was this one. If it is, then it's. I was doing the 332 on high, it's supposed to be 85. And um, I guess I was going 120. So far, I'm going to go with the bottom one. Uh, the outside, I don't know. I'm going to go with the bottom one. I'm going to go with the bottom one. Current motor. I'm going to put it at 125. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna do the test. Well, uh, okay. So, that's 100. This 125. Right. Going with the bottom one. Get it. So, so far so good. I haven't got time to figure it out, but uh, we'll do that another time. The what's it called? The 18. So, it's pretty good. I gotta add gauges. I'm at like a like a, what's it called a fuse module here add gauges over there i'm thinking the other side better but i gotta add two the one for the fuel which i gotta take this out and i had to fix and bend it because it keeps coming dropping down and i put the stick on it so i can see how much fuel does it have i gotta add one of those gauges one here fuel and and water pressure right they, they sell doubles gauges and one the chinese people they they got it well los chilos chinese chinese they if they got it we get it uh, so so far it already has the uh, water temperature so i don't have to uh all i gotta do is bridge it and right here i'm at another one which is gonna be battery and uh fuel that's it so i hope you guys like the video i think i gotta spray paint this uh with a transparent so it doesn't rust out it always looks good when it's you so that's the 400 sam 400 nobody has a video so i'm gonna I did this one for that all right like and subscribe